What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul and I do videos about Japan, society, life and culture because I've lived here for about 18 years and I also do the occasional video about sneakers and today's video is about that. I'm going to be giving you a recap of Yeezy Day and how it went down in Japan. Now, to put it bluntly, Yeezy Day was a pretty big disappointment all around if you were in Japan. Part of that is because Yeezys are not as popular here as other parts of the world. I know that hype on Yeezy has gone down everywhere, but Japan not seen on feet all that often. And they're also really expensive here. So I'll get into that in a moment. But here, I'm gonna show you on the screen now, this is what we got for Yeezy Day in Japan. And you can basically see what's not there. Obviously, no turtle doves, and no foam runners, and no slides. Basically, the models that really are popular and people are seeking after, even in Japan, are not here. We do have the 350 V2s in the red-black colorway. Now, I did cop one pair from Yeezy Day, and I have it right here. Probably saw it in the thumbnail. And the deal with these is, this is just as much a part of the underwhelming sense of Yeezy Day as the lack of offerings. And that is, first of all, everything was done on the Adidas Confirmed app and everything was a raffle. So you entered and there was like two hours left to enter or there was six hours left to enter depending on the model. And that means there were no queues, there was no crashing of the website, there was no like they dropped at this time. None of that happened in Japan. It was all basically sign up for a raffle. And I signed up for the raffle for these. But strangely enough, the problem is, if the camera will focus on that, this is a size eight and a half. I am a nine and a half, better off 10, especially in these. And to be honest, like, this was a pair, even though I'm not a huge Yeezy guy, I like this colorway. I probably would have kept them if they were in my size, but they didn't offer my size, at least on my app. That was the strange thing. The largest size was this, and then they had down to like size five, size four, or something like that. Now, I've seen on the aftermarket that they have this model in sizes from nine on up. Where those came from, I don't know. Like, did they do a limit thing where like these accounts were allowed to enter for these sizes and these accounts were allowed to enter for these sizes? That doesn't really make any sense to me, but I don't understand where all of those new pairs came from that are flooding the aftermarket. Maybe my app had an error. I should have maybe closed it and restarted it to make sure that that was correct, that this really was the biggest size I could get, but I didn't do that. I just entered because I wanted to see if I could get a pair. I did. Now, I guess I'm just gonna have to try to finesse a trade somehow to get a pair in my size because these don't really do me much good. And if you think about it, they're kind of a microcosm of Yeezy Day overall. Too small, not enough offerings, limited, and in the end, overall disappointing, at least for those of us in Japan. And here's the kicker. In Japan, these are $320 retail. Now, if you do it at yen to dollar exchange, it might look like it's a little bit better than that because the yen is super weak right now. But for actual purchasing power for people living here, it's the equivalent of $320. And that's what the resale is in the States, or at least it was last time I checked. So, so yeah, we're basically paying the resale price as retail. If you were gonna go after the static, the Yeezy statics that I think dropped everywhere, including Japan, those are $420 in Japan. Four, over $400 retail for those. What's that all about? Yeezy, I don't know what's going on there. Like Jordan brand and Nike, they basically keep the same price in terms of purchasing power wise in Japan and the States. If you have a $190 pair of Jordan 1s, they're basically $19,000 or $190 in Japan. So Jordan Brand and Nike are doing the pricing right. I don't know why Yeezy has such a huge markup here. Everyone always talks about, oh, slides are such a great 
deal because they're what they're like 60 70 dollars in the states they're 95 9, 98 i think they're 98 dollars in japan so we're talking you know 30 dollars more 25 dollars more whatever it is so maybe yeezy would be more popular here more people would be willing to give them a go if they weren't so expensive i don't know so yeezy day underwhelming it's cool that i get to see an iconic colorway in hand i just wish i could see them on feet all right that's it yeezy day japan bit of a disappointment and i hope the video was not a disappointment to you though i hope you got something interesting or some good information out of it and if you did remember to hit that like button subscribe if you want more sneaker content and if you want to check out the japan side of the channel you might be interested in that i highly encourage you to do so at any rate thank you very much for watching this particular video and i will catch you next time peace